Hello, this is Akanksha from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today, in this video, we will be seeing about data transformations basics. The agenda of today's video is to understand the introduction of data transformation, when it is used, what are the supported file formats, and where it is used exactly in Informatica. So, what is data transformation? Data transformation is an application that processes complex files such as messaging format, HTML pages, and PDF documents. Uh, when we handle file which is not relational, uh, data transformation is used. So, in ETL, normally for power center, data quality, cloud, we handle data when it is relational. The problem comes when we have JSON, PDF, Word. So, for these, data transformation come into picture. The data transformation comes from the default power center installation. It would be present under Infra Home data transformation folder. It is installed by default. We do not have to do anything manually or choose anything. All the folder inside the data transformation will come automatically. Further in this video, we will check on this. So, in a short term, we can say the main use case of data transformation is to transform any kind of structured or unstructured data into some structured or unstructured data. When we say data transformation, data processor, UDT, all are same thing. It all comes under data transformation. The overall concept is data transformation. And inside that, we have data processor, which is available in data quality, and UDT, which is unstructured data transformation, that is for power center mapping. Uh, the supported file format for data transformation is ECOD, HIPAA, HL7, EDIX12, EDIFACT, SWIFT, PDF, JSON, XML. So basically it will process all kind of unstructured data which will be difficult or is not relational to pass through normal ETL which is power center, data quality or cloud. That is why we will have B2B data transformation. So let's understand the setup to know if the DT is ready and what are the folders which would be present inside the data transformation. So like I discussed earlier that the data transformation will be installed under Infra Home by default. So if you see here, it is installed under my Infra Home. So the data transformation will have some important folders which would not be messed up and will be used for running DT jobs. The first most important folder is cmconfig.xml. So cmconfig.xml will have all the informations and all the configuration. We shall never mess up with this. In case we are making any change, it is always recommended to take the backup of the cmconfig.xml file. Uh, talking about the service DB file. So the service DB file is a repository where the transformation services are stored. This value will also be stored in the cmconfig.xml. Uh, the next is CM reports. So this is the folder which will have the engine logs. Uh, this value will also be stored in the cmconfig.xml and can be changed if required by the user. Coming to the next, which is user log. This will have the application logs and the user logs. This value is also stored in the cmconfig.xml. Let's see uh, some. Uh, let's see the folder cmconfig.xml. Let me open it. So if you see, so all the things which we discussed, CM report, which will have the if content master home. So we have an environment variable folder, which inside this data transformation, which needs to be sourced to run a command, which is CM console minus uh, C. So that will be run to see if my DT engine is ready. We can run that. We will be discussing that further. Then the CM user logs, which will have the logs, this user log folder. And there would be a service DB folder also, which will be defined here. 
uh, which will have uh, the uh, all the transformation details as discussed. As mentioned, to run any DT job, we need to run the command which is cm console minus c. So this command is run to check if the DT server engine is ready. As mentioned, to run the same, we have to set the environment variable. So let me do the same for you. I'll be sourcing the environment variable set env dot csh. I have sourced the same. Now I'll be running the cm console command. So like you see, the command is successful. Uh, it is giving me the version, which the version of power center. Uh, the configuration file, like mentioned, cmconfig.xml, which will have all the details, the report path, which was present in the cmconfig.xml, and the user log path. This cannot find the license key. Uh, this can be ignored. This is not a valid message. Also, DT is version independent. When we say this, we can export any data transformation from version A to version B. Let me explain in an easy way. So we can export a data transformation from 10.2 Informatica version to 10.5 Informatica version. Uh, also, all the DT services can be executed by CM, config, uh, CM console minus C command. So uh, we can also run the DT jobs from the server. Let me show you one DT job from the service DB folder. Now, if you see inside this data transformation, we have a .cmw file, .xsd, .tgp, .xsd file. So, uh, the .cmw file is the main data transformation. In case we do not have this .cmw file, uh, which means the data transformation is not present, it is the actual DT service. Now, talking about the XSD, so XSD is just a schema to run the job also to identify what, what kind of structure is coming or what kind of schema would be the output. Uh, so basically these two are the most important things uh, in the data transformation. Uh, also to run the same, to run the data transformation, there's a command. Uh, we need to have the input file and the output format and we can run it through the server as well. Now let's talk about unstructured data transformation. Uh, data transformation is built only in developer client and it can be exported in PC. When it will be exported in PC, it will automatically get renamed as unstructured data transformation, which is UDT. So like here also, it is mentioned the unstructured data transformation calls a data transformation service from a power center session. So data transformation, as we mentioned, it is the same thing. It is an application that will transform the unstructured data transformation into structured or unstructured file formats. So we can just see uh, the diagram. Uh, this, these are the following events that will be occurring when we call a data transformation from a power center session. So first, the unstructured data transformation passes source data to the data transformation engine. Second, uh, the data transformation engine runs a data transformation service to transform the data. The data transformation service is the data transformation repository folder only. Now, the data transformation engine writes transform data directly to the output files or it returns the transform data to the unstructured data transformation. Lastly, the unstructured data transformation returns XML data or data rows. If the unstructured data transformation return XML, we connect the unstructured data transformation to an XML parser transformation in the mapping. We have data transformation in cloud as well in the form of hierarchy parser transformation, hierarchy builder transformation, data service transformation, and web service rest consumer transformation. First, the hierarchy parser transformation. So basically, this is the transformation which will convert the hierarchical input into relational input. 
So we configure a hierarchy schema that defines the expected hierarchy of the output data from a sample file or schema. The hierarchy parser converts hierarchical input based on the hierarchy schema that we associate with the transformation. We can use an existing hierarchical schema or configure one that is just based on our needs. Secondly, let's talk about hierarchy builder transformation. So, the hierarchy builder transformation converts the relational input into hierarchical output uh, and it provides one of the following formats like JSON, XML, Avro, Parquet, ORC. So, the hierarchy builder transformation produces output based on the hierarchical schema which we will be defining initially when creating the hierarchy builder mapping. Third, let's talk about the data service transformation. So we use the data uh, service transformation to invoke data service from the data services repository uh, like uh, the industry standard messages uh, services such as HL7, HIPAA and some customized service. For example, we can use the transformation to invoke data service to process HIPAA messages that we exchange uh, with the healthcare partners. For more uh, details on these things, we, uh, you can just go through the uh, data service uh, transformation documentation as well. Uh, lastly, talking about the web service transformation. So we use this transformation to make a web service request and to map the web service response to a target. Also, we have REST web service con uh, consumer transformation. So this is an active transformation that connects to a REST web service as a web service client to access or transform data. We use a REST web service consumer transformation to connect to a REST web service. Uh, the REST web service consumer transformation can, rest, uh, can send a request to the REST web service and receive a, resp a response as well from the REST web service. The references of these videos has been taken from B2B Data Transformation User Guide and Cloud Data Transformation User Guide. You can refer these for more information. We would love to hear from you. You can share your valuable feedback at supportvideos at the rate informatica.com and you can also tweet us at infasupport. Thank you.